Hi, I'm Jason and welcome to my shop. When I got back into woodworking a couple years ago, I wasn't surprised when people started asking me to make things for them, whether it be something very simple from a pen to a little box, um, you know, maybe a bowl, something along those lines. One of the things I wasn't prepared for was for friends or family or somebody that I was close to to ask me to build them something that they could bury their pet in. Um, and this right here is a good example of that. Now I had, I'd been asked that a couple of times, felt that it was a little bit beyond what I wanted to do, so I, I actually passed up the first couple of requests until a very close friend and coworker um, told me about his pet. It was very sick. And I'd also, the, the difference was I knew this, this pet because I'd known his pet as long as I'd known him. So. This, this burial box is, is what I was at. Well, I was asked to build something simple, and I just didn't feel it was quite right to just build a pine box. So this, this is what I decided to build. It's got a little more detail in it than I think what he was expecting, but it kind of represented what I thought would be res respectable for, for the pet, especially as much as his pet is a family member of his, much as a, as my pets are a member of my family. So I just wanted to take a few minutes in this video just just to show some details of this this isn't a build video um, and I'm not going to really go over any major details but I at least wanted to show what the box was and some of the some of the details of it so I did use pine for the main structure the main box it's it's basically furniture grade pine that was already pre-planed and was pretty much usable right from the store uh, some of the finer details is I decided to do these 45 degree corners, uh, so these are actually 22 and a half degree miters. All this trim is red oak. This is a red oak trim all the way around. Uh, the lid is actually built like a, uh, it's almost like a raised panel. It's uh, got an outer frame and then there's a solid wood top which uh, end up having to joint and edge uh, a couple of boards together to make this top. Pretty simple as far as the structure is concerned, but uh, again, I, I, I did give these uh, these 45 degree corners uh, just to make it look a little bit nicer than just a, a plain box. Also did the same thing at the bottom with the red oak trim to try to make it match the top. Hardware was real simple. Uh, just went with some very simple gold plated handles. And one extra little touch that I decided to put on it was this cross that I made out of red oak. And I, uh, that's just glued and tacked on. The entire construction was done with glue and brad nails. Nothing else other than the hinges, the two just regular hinges here, as well as the two handles on the sides. When I told some people I was going to be building this, uh, some of the people that I told thought it was kind of morbid, but I think a lot of us treat our pets as members of the family, and whenever we lose one, um, we'd want the, uh, the same treatment for them as we would for for just about any other uh, human member of the family. And, and I understand that as a pet owner myself. So thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time.